Yeah, Clayton, I was out and about yesterday and just happened to cross paths in Capitol Hill uh, with Yvonne Duque, who was president of Colombia from 2018 to 2022, last year. He is considered by many to be the absolute worst president in Colombian history with an extraordinary amount of blood on his hands and stolen money in his pocket. So naturally, he's living here in Washington, D.C. So watch my interaction with former president of Colombia, Ivan Duque. Okay, that's amazing. And I, I, I can't believe he just continued to talk with you and kind of denying any involvement with Nene Hernandez. Can you, who is Hernandez uh, in, in all of this? It seemed really relevant to this conversation. And for our audience that's not familiar with this, can you educate us? Yeah, I mean, for for one thing, the fact that he kept talking to me even after I said Nene Hernandez, it's he's not used to having critical journalists come after him. Or you know, if if a Colombian journalist did that, they'd be like tackled, and maybe he'd send like a hit squad after them. Literally, so many journalists have been killed in Colombia. So it's a real privilege to be able to do that here in Washington, where you know I don't, nothing's going to happen to me. Nene Hernandez, the name I said with the selfie, one two three, Nene Hernandez. This is his most infamous scandal. Yenny Hernandez was a guy who projected himself as publicly as a rancher, an entrepreneur, but a Colombian police investigation into a 2011 murder that Hernandez ordered incidentally found that he was a frontman for a drug cartel known as Marquitos Figueroa, one of the most violent in Colombia. Now, this investigation found that Yenny Hernandez was financing Duque's presidential campaign in 2017 and 2018 using stolen money. Then, Nene Hernandez was murdered in Brazil in very suspicious circumstances, but he left on his Instagram, which remains visible to the public to this day, uh, he posted numerous photos of himself with Duque on the campaign trail, so showing Duque with a big drug trafficker, but 